Hey everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at this one half horsepower submersible pump. What's nice about this pump is it does have a 1.5 inch outlet and when you're using this 1.5 inch outlet you're going to have a maximum performance of 2200 gallons per hour. What else is nice is you do have a 26 and a half foot long power cord and you're going to have two settings here that you can turn it on to, automatic mode or manual mode to run the pump. Also included in the package here, you're going to get a couple of different size adapters, which is going to be really nice. You're going to be able to hook these up to a garden hose or basically any kind of uh, water pipe or things like that that you already have in your system. What else is nice is you do get an instruction manual that goes through a lot of the details of the pump along with an extra washer here. So let's get a closer look at the pump itself, talk about some of the features and give it a try. So here's the switch to be able to switch between manual mode and automatic. What's nice about automatic mode is that it automatically will kick in whenever the water level is four inches above the bottom here, and it will shut itself off once it hits two inches to help protect the pump. It also does have this little handle here, which is gonna make it nice to be able to get in and out of things. And you can see here, you do have that 1.5 inch diameter discharge. What else is cool about this, you do have a upgraded ceiling structure that's going to give the pump longer durability and you also are going to have a maximum lift height of 23 feet. So you're going to have a pipe that you could hook up to this that's 23 feet high and you're going to be able to push the water up through that. So you also are going to have thermal protection built in and it's going to have a corrosion resistant shell here. So you're not going to have to worry about this rusting or falling apart while it's down in your well or whatever you might be using this for. So here I have the pump set up to a garden hose and we're going to go ahead and put the pump in. And it's on automatic mode right now. So when we put this in, once it reaches that four inches of water, it should turn itself on. You should see some water coming out of the nozzle here. Now, now what you need to make sure you do when you put this in, you put it in at an angle and this is going to make sure that all the bubbles get out of the pump itself. And you can hear it kick on and the pump is priming itself and you can see the water's coming up out of this now. And basically what it's doing is it's working to get all those bubbles out. This is why you want to make sure you turn it sideways. And there you can see all of the water's flowing right through the hose here, out of the nozzle. And just to simulate what would happen if the water started to get low, you can see here, we'll start pulling it up. And here when it hits that two inch mark, the pump turns itself off. So you could definitely use this in a bunch of different applications um, out in the field, or you could use it in a sump pump application where when it gets down to that lower level of water coming in, it can turn itself off. 